Hey guys, Jaybird here, and we're going to be starting another tutorial. So this one's going to be continuing off of our doors tutorial. So this is going to be for zones and zombie spawners. So the very first thing that I'm going to go over in this tutorial is just an explanation of what zones are and what they are used for. The second thing I'm going to do is going to jump into Radiant. We're going to set up our zones for our map. Just we're going to set up probably one or two, maybe three zones here, and then we'll uh, link them to our doors and then we're gonna go in and uh, set up our zombies as well then the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna jump out of radiant and we're gonna go into our maps GSC which is the server script and then we're gonna do the coding side of things for the zones alright guys let's jump in it alright guys so I'm gonna just kinda do a little explanation of zones uh, for anyone who doesn't know what a zone is so this is a zone when you create up your starting map, the zone is going to be created uh, like for the beginning of it. It's going to have the start zone. So it's this little brush here. It's actually a volume. Um, so if I go over to the entity info, it's an info volume. So that's the type of uh, entity it is. So what it allows the game to do is when you are in the game, the 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 script is going the, basically the spawner script is going to check which zone you are in and then spawn the zombies in that zone or an adjacent zone to that one. But zones are closed until they are opened by a door. So that's why a lot of people are having issues when they spawn and they don't have their zone set up properly. Uh, they're spawning in an inactive zone or they've moved their spawn out of a zone so they end up dying because the game thinks they're cheating. So they, the game kills them. So if you notice here, we actually have on the side, so I'm going to start jumping into actually using the zones here and setting them up now. So basically this zone that's covering the whole map here, uh, we're going to actually reduce it to only the starting area because this is going to be our start zone. So you'll see target name, start zone, and it's got a script noteworthy of player volume and then it's also targeting the zombies, so start zone spawners. So there are zombies in this zone targeted by this. So you can see the red lines going to that spawner, to this spawner that's over here. It's also coming to this one and the one over here. So basically when the game, when the player spawns in, it sees that they're in the start zone. Start zone is uh, basically initialized like it's opened right at the beginning. You don't have to open a door for it. That's always, that's why it's the start zone. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to just move this around so that Let's say our doors here that we made, actually I'm gonna do them, yeah, these doors here are going to be, so I'm gonna just make a wall actually, an entire wall. Let's just stretch this out so we know where our zone ends. And on this side as well. So basically we know that our zone ends at this wall. So if I were to say, walk over here outside the zone, ignoring the wall, I'm going to die because I haven't activated the zone. So that's why you got to be careful with how your zones work. So for the second zone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just to show you how you do one of these volumes in the first place, let's deselect that. I am going to click uh, B to bring up the entity browser window and we're going to go down to volume. And we are going to want to get a, where is it? Should be an info volume. Um, might be under info actually. Info volume. There it is. Okay. So it's not under volume, it's under info. So if you go to info volume, you can drag this on. So we'll just come on to this side of the wall. Drag this on. And I'm going to just kind of make the kind of portion, like the proportions of it the same as this zone. So it came up to right here. So I'll make it that high. The thing is, you're going to want to make sure that your zones are touching each other or else there'll be a little gap and as soon as you aren't touching one of the two zones, then it'll kill the player. So you got to make sure it goes right up to this zone. So it's easy to tell the zones are in pink. So you can see I had that line there and I lined this one up right to it. So I'm going to put this all on this side. And then what we can do is just set up the KVPs, which are the keys and value properties. So like we had for this one, it had a target name 
and it was called start zone. I'm gonna call this uh, test zone. We can call it whatever you want. You could you could uh, have your zones zone one, zone two, zone three, and keep doing it like that if you want. But I'm just gonna do test zone. We're gonna call that in the script, so I'll have to remember this name. So the other thing we had was script note worthy player volume. So let's add a KVP script note worthy, and then player volume. And then the other one was targeting the spawners. So what we can do is we can set up a couple of our spawners here. So when you look at a spawner, it is a script struct. So it's script struct with a target name. So this is part of the spawner uh, uh, stuff now. So we're gonna actually go into actually making our spawners. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a script struct. We'll just place it over here. So I will go right here and we will go to our entity browser and go under script and struct. I'm gonna drag one of these guys on. So this is gonna be our spawner. Right now it's blank, but we're gonna, the script is looking for a specific target name. Actually our zone is looking for the target name. What we're gonna to wanna to do is add these KVPs in as well. So this target name is just because it's the start zone. Um, this one is gonna tell the game that's a riser location. And this is so that uh, script string find flesh basically will make it so it doesn't need to go to a window first. So if you look at this one, there's no find flesh. Script string is now telling it to go to receiver set entry A, which is this uh, window right here. Script string receiver set entry A. So we'll cover that in a second, but for now we'll create a riser. So I'm going to give it a target name of test zone spawner. I can really call it whatever I want. I'm just gonna copy this just in case I spelt it weird or something. Um, we're gonna go back to our zone and we're gonna add target and our test zone spawner. So now you'll notice we have the red line going from the center of our zone to the struct. So that means it's targeting it. So the other KVPs that we had to add in for the riser was script strength or script noteworthy riser location. So I'm just gonna copy that. So script noteworthy riser location. Remember to get the spelling right because this is script. Uh, the script is looking for this stuff and we want it to go right for the player and not a window. So we're going to go script string find flesh. So add kvp script string find flesh. And if I'm not mistaken this is halfway in the ground. Yes. Okay. So what you can do to get your uh, node halfway in the ground is if you have a uh, your orientation drop and zero selected so you see how they have the orange outline on them there have those like that and then hit this one here it will drop it into the ground and keep the rotation of where the ground is so there we go halfway into the ground and so that's that way the effect will play on the ground when he's climbing out of the ground um, so that's our, our zombie it's already set up so let's say we wanted to do a window spawner so I'm going to uh, end up using one of these so it's actually a prefab so if you look at your prefabs here it's under core barricade uh, receiver okay so if we go in to our uh, where is it uh, our prefabs at the top so right click at the top here go to prefab browser ZM ZM core and it was barricade receiver so that's the one that we want okay so we're gonna drag that on. I'm just gonna kind of have it off to the side here. Um, but you'll notice that when I bring this up here, oh, actually, I've, I'm actually winging this right now, but uh, you'll notice we have a script string. I just realized you can put, put script strings on prefabs now. That is quite interesting. Okay, so just uh, bear with me here. <laughs> so basically they have script string and then this is just kind of them naming what this window is. So they called it receiver set entry A. So I'm going to copy that and do receiver set entry B. So we'll go add KVP script string and we're going to call this receiver set entry B. So now let's say I copied this guy and instead of having him have fine flesh, which means he goes right for the player and not a window we are going to have the script string set to receiver set entry B. 
So let's copy that. And we'll go back to here and set it to receiver set entry B. So now, when this guy spawns out of this one, instead of going for a player, he has to first go through a window before he can get to a player. So that's how you would do a riser who goes for a player and a riser who goes for a window and then the player. So these guys have to go through their set, set window first. The other thing you want to keep in mind, I have never tested this, but I would only assume you can't have two windows named the same thing or else the zombies aren't going to know what to go for. So there we go. That is the zombie setup. So the last thing we want to do in Radiant is making it so our volumes or our zones are actually getting activated by a door. So let's say I wanted it on this. We'll, we'll just do this door for now. Um, what people, what I showed before in the, the tutorial was script flag zone two. Well, I'm actually going to change this. I'm going I'm to do enter test zone as my string. So in the script, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a flag set for the zone that is going to say enter test zone and what's going to happen is it's going to go okay we have this one and it's adjacent to this one and it's opened when this door with this flag is set so it might be a bit confusing to, when i say it like that but you guys will hopefully understand what i'm talking about in a second here so that covers everything on the radiant side of things we're now going to jump into the actual coding Okay guys, so we're out of Radiant now, and we're going to be just going into the scripts. So this is going to be a really quick uh, thing to show you how to get to your scripts. If you want to just go to your map, right click on it, and go to show, uh, show zone folder. You want to step back one, so out of the zone source to your maps uh, folder is. So user map, and then your map. You want to go to scripts, ZM, and then ignore some of the stuff that I have in here. It's just testing stuff that I've been doing. Um, this is going to be your map uh, your map script. So don't open the CSC, that's your client script. This is the server script. This is the one that we want, the GSC. So open that up. I'll just throw that on my actual monitor that's recording. And then what you're gonna wanna do is come down until you see user map test zone in it. So this is where we're gonna actually set up our zones. So create a new line before the flags are set. So before this, and then what we're going to do is go ZM and then zone manager. So this is auto doing this for me. I'll have a tutorial to set up sublime so that it actually knows GSC. Um, but for now, uh, you just want to do ZM zone manager spelt like that exactly the way I have it there colon colon. So what this is doing is it's going into this uh, file, this script, and then it's going to call a function and the function is add adjacent zone and then what we're going to want to do is do parentheses and then we're going to want to do start zone in quotation marks and then a comma so this is separating this is going to be the first parameter so it's our start zone the second one is going to be i believe we called it test zone and then the last thing is going to be the string that we used to get our uh, that the string that we put on our door, which was enter test zone, and you want to end the line with a semicolon. So let's just kind of go over this again. So we have the file that it's getting called from zone or zm zone mgr, so zone manager colon colon because we're uh, calling a function from this, and the function is add underscore adjacent underscore zone. The first parameter is going to be your first zone. The second parameter is going to be your second zone. And the third parameter is going to be the, uh, the script flag that was on your door's trigger. So let's say I had another zone that I wanted to set up that uh, test zone was connected to. What I can do is add another line, add adjacent zone, and I'm gonna do test zone as the first one and let's call this next zone and it'd be enter next zone. And so this would be the test zone that we set up in our test map. This would be a new zone that I would have to go and set up. And then this would be a script flag on a door that would enter into the next zone. So that actually covers everything for this tutorial now, guys. Once you save this and you compile your map, 
you should have zones and spawners working perfectly fine. Alright guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.